everyone, this is Val from Val Crafts Creations and today we are going to be making a, well, it could be like a traveler journal. Um, I This is going to be my design team project for Creative Paper Art Design for the month of January. And the beautiful paper that I'm going to be using today is a Snow White. Um, the project is going to be, the thing is going to be a Snow White. And this beautiful paper was created by um, Karen Villanova from Creative Paper Art Design. And I'm going to leave all the information for um, the kit and the description box um, with all her information where you can get this beautiful paper. And she's um, offering 35% um, off if you buy this paper from her Etsy store. So um, that's what we're going to be making today. This is a beautiful, beautiful paper. It's like a modern um, Snow White story. Um, I already cut my pieces, of course. I want to be ready for the tutorial for the video. So, but let me show you some of the images um, for this beautiful, beautiful paper. This is some of the papers that we're going to be using to cover my base, which is going to be this file folder that I already covered with red and black paper because this um, file folder was like this, like with flowers. And you can still see in some places um, the original file folder, but, you know, I wanted to cover it with the black and um, red since this paper kit does the colors that I have. Um, but look how beautiful, this is my signature. Look how beautiful this paper is. And I'm just gonna show you um, a little bit because I want you to go over and take a look at this beautiful paper on her website. But look how pretty this paper is. Who don't love, um, no white. Look how pretty. I printed this paper, the line paper, I printed it several times. And this other paper, so I can create my signature. That's why you see a lot of this line paper. And this is the other paper that you have for journaling. Look how pretty the images of this paper are. show you real quick some other images so um let me put this back this is my signature it's only gonna have one signature and it's gonna have this pocket that i'm gonna do like a pamphlet stitch before i close the pocket so we're gonna add it to the spine so it's gonna have one pocket here your signature and then the other pocket is gonna go here so when you close your journal i may need to cut this a little bit um i didn't measure it before so i got i just gonna cut this here uh, maybe i don't know but i will cut it so it will fit here but let me tell you a little bit about my base oh the um the kit brings um, all this, which is the ephemera. I have pockets, it has journaling card, I have a lot of sentiments, all these images that you can use as dog spot, tags, all of this comes in the kit. And I created this for my cover using a frame and one of the images of the kit and I put some acetate, um, clear film. So that's gonna go on my cover. So let me tell you a little bit about my base. Um, put all these things away. Like I told you, this was a file folder and I score like I cut it the size that I wanted, and this journal is gonna be a, a journal um, 
Traveler Nova is gonna be four and a quarter by eight. So this is gonna be the size. And I have a spine of one inch. So what I did was I cut the size that I wanted from my um, file folder. So I cut, so the size is, without you uh, folding this, the pocket, is 11 and a half by 17 and a half. And then I score a half, four and a quarter. This each panel is four and a quarter. These ones are four inches because that's the size of the file folder. But so you're gonna score a four and a quarter five and a quarter let me get my so what i did i folded this is my file folder right i cut this so i cut i score i'm sorry at eight inches like that folder because you need to fold this so you can score so the first score that you're gonna do is the eight inches right here so this is your file folder you're gonna score at eight and that will give you these pockets and i just cut them i don't know this is di diagonally like that so this is your folder uh, folding half right you're gonna score on the long side at eight and then you're gonna turn it around you can open it and what i did is four and a quarter then i move it to the side i score one inch i keep moving it four and a quarter move it four and then my last one is four so you're gonna have two panels four and a quarter two panel size four and then your spine one inch and the long side is eight inches. So that will give you your, and I cut this four because you know, when you fold it, you will have this space to fold all your um, panels and you will not have any problem with your journal, like folding this. So that's why I cut this one. I, I score this one at four inches, four. And then when you fold this one, you will have this space here. And that way you have plenty of space between your spine and this panel to close your journal. Hopefully you will understand, but you can make this any size you want. You don't need all these panels. You don't want to just cut your five folder, your cereal box, whatever you're gonna use for your base. Four and a quarter by eight is you only one like a regular um, traveler noble or journal. But if you want the panels, then you know you score four, four, four and a quarter, one inch, four and a quarter. Okay, and these pockets are three and a half by four. Almost all of them are four. You see, it's more a smaller four four so they are three and a half by four and that will give you your base and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover everything with my paper and i want to use uh, let me see I, I don't know if i want to use the cream color inside and then the black color is outside i think that's what i'm gonna do this is gonna be like outside my for my outside of my cover so let's start with this we're gonna cover all this and then before i move on on uh, the spine you see these lines that i um use pencil on them see it right there that's where each signature is gonna go like my signature is gonna go here in the middle and then my two pockets are gonna go on these two lines and what i did i measure my one inch right and then i mark the middle here and then a quarter inch here, a quarter inch up, up to the, this side. And then I went here and marked my, my middle, which is four inches. And that's gonna be 
where I'm going to do my um, middle stitch. Here is going to go my, uh, you know, the stitch that is going to go up here and then down here. And what I do, I just count one inch in and do the line and one inch from the bottom in and, tr and draw the line. So that will give me the space where I want my holes for my pamphlet stitch to go. Okay, so that's what I did there. So let's start by covering this. Let me grab my glue. And let's see, I had to cut this here, but let me see which one I wanna go. Um, this one goes here. Trying to see. I usually number my pages, you know that, but today I didn't. So this is gonna go like this. And there, uh, I cut them a little smaller. Um, it wasn't on purpose. And it's just that I thought that they were four and uh, four inches each panel and I cut it, but that's fine. I, I don't mind that they are no, you know, the same size because I'm gonna use some pockets and stuff and I don't mind it. So this is how we're gonna cover this. So let's get started. Real quick. I know I can do this off camera. Um, and well, let's do it together today. And I should have not put all that glue. Let me center it there. Let me clean that glue from the outside. And we're gonna cut that. Let me do that right now. Let me get my, let me get smaller scissors for that. Oh, let me show you another thing that I did that I'm gonna use on my, um, let's see if I can cut this on my spine, to decorate my spine. Um, I did a video not a long time ago using a specimen, um, um, microscope slides, um, dangles. So I created one for this cover. Look how pretty it is. It has a little heart and an apple charm. So this is gonna go on my spine outside like that but if you want to know how i created this if i don't forget I, I will leave uh a link to the video where i show you how to create that dangle and it's a dangle but on this occasion i'm just gonna glue it down to my spine that's why i didn't do anything on the top to hang my dangle but i i will leave the um the link to that video in the description box and that's a microscope slide it's glass but since i'm gonna glue it on to my spine i'm not worrying about you know my um <laughs> my slide um to break since it's I'm sorry, I'm thinking at the same time that I'm talking with you, but um, I'm gonna glue the glass to my spine. I did it already on my journal for the Steampunk Christmas journal. That's another video that I have on my channel that you can see how I glue that one down to, to the spine. But that one had the hanging um, stuff on the top for, because it was a dangle, so. But this one, I'm gonna glue it down too. And they are very easy to make. I got the, um, I wanna say a specimen, but it's the um, slides, uh, microscope, my, microscope slides from Amazon. I think they come like 50 in a pack. Look how pretty, how pretty this paper is. 
and we're gonna use the cream color outside of my journal so let's see smaller ones go here and let me see where's the one for my spine Which one I want. I think I'm gonna go with this one, the darker one. Yeah. I know it's the same, but you know, I don't mind it. So let's glue this down. I love this paper. When I saw it, I said, oh my god, it's so pretty. Snow white. And the size is a traveler notebook size. paper towel and clean my hands this glue I love it I use this glue for everything I even glue down the metal pieces of my dangle on my slide that I'm gonna use on my spine perfect glue for everything paper plastic glass fabric i use my glue for everything it's a perfect glue it is crafters pick from apis i get this at hobby lobby and it's it's not expensive it's like 549 i think it is and it's the perfect glue for all your projects and i know i am not sponsoring this but it's the true You can see some of my um, file folder there, but, and uh, let me distress this. I forgot to distress this, this one. And I'm using my archival ink. Um, let me see what's the color, black suit. That's what I'm using to distress my all my edges. On this spine inside, I don't think I'm gonna put, um, I am just gonna leave it black like that since my paper inside is black and white. We are almost done with this part. After this, we are going, we are going to, um, so um in the signature and the pockets i keep putting the glue where i had to cut my paper the file for the ring this like that so i just Leave it left, uh, left it like that because I like this here. Just to give a different touch to my journal. Okay, perfect. That is done. So let's do the signature. And I'm gonna leave, um, after I do my holes, I'm gonna um, erase those lines. Let me put this here. So let's see, let me get my pockets. Wait, I need to cut this. Cause I forgot that my space here when I close this, it's 
gonna go over my line here so let me grab my ruler and i think i gonna i like this like that but i think i gonna go to um go ahead and cut it straight let me just mark it with my pencil where's my pencil That way I'm not going to be stressing out about it. <laughs> and I covered it with black because I was going to leave that there, but oh, it's okay. It's perfect. Okay, and let's do the same thing, but let me use the other scissors. There's my lines. Let's distress. Okay, so we're gonna do this first. This one is gonna go right there. try to do my line make sure that is where I want it I can't see it's too dark my room is too dark you know what let's do this the easy way easy easy way just gonna mark I don't know why. You know what? I, I went to the doctor today and to do my eye exam and I keep losing my eyesight on my left eye and they can they say I have pressure behind my eye and a lot of stuff and I can notice it with so I'm just gonna do this here and i can notice that i'm losing sight on my left eye but you know now i had to see a neurologist because i had neuropathy and i guess the neuropathy is damaging my eyes now so that is why sometimes I had to take off my eyeglasses to see. Because this eyeglass, I need a new one. I just made them today. I just need to wait until they call me to tell me that they're ready. So I'm going to use this embroidery thread to do my, to sew my signature in. So I'm losing eyesight on my left eye. And I've been dealing with headaches and a lot of stuff. But, you know, I will continue with my, my thing. Let me see, got this embroidery thread. Something give me a headache. Put a little bit of glue, 
Let's see if this if that works. I, I can see. Sorry, let me take my eyeglasses so I can see this. And you see this needle have a lot. It's a big. The needle have a big eye. Still can see how. <laughs> oh my god. But you know, I'm trusting in God that I can be healed on his own time. On his time, you know. Okay, so we're gonna do the pamphlet stitch and we're gonna go in the middle first. Let me raise this lines. You know, this is the pocket, we're gonna close that. I'm just gonna erase the first line. Cause I don't wanna forget. And we're gonna go right in the middle first. I think I cut this too small, um, short. And then we're gonna go right here on the top. Oh my God, where is the hole? I'm so sorry if I move this out of the way, but I need to see where I'm going. I think I cut this too small. And then we're gonna go to the bottom. Let me see if I can use this one. If not, I may need to cut a longer one. Just wanna pull my little tail out. And I'm gonna go to the middle again. See if I can pull my little tail. This one that is hanging here. Make sure that you pull your string. Okay, so the first thing is in. I'm gonna cut this and let's see if I have my tape here. I'm just gonna hold that there. So when I put things inside my pocket, that is not, you know, moving around. And we're gonna close this pocket. So this is like the first signature and that's gonna be a pocket right there. Now we're gonna do our actual signature. I mean, I think I'm gonna do Same thing, I'm gonna mark it. I think it's easier this way instead of having a headache trying to figure out how to do this. Just gonna mark it, All right? And move this here for a moment. I'm gonna do my three, three holes.
And let me erase my lines here. Okay, so let's do the same thing with this. Let me do the other holes too. These ones. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do this one. Let me put more, like three times the size of my spine. It's better to have more than less. Let's do this, let's do this. for glue I don't know I, I remember that I learned this trick somewhere I think I saw a lady on the internet doing this put a little bit of glue and and I can see of course sorry Come on, get in there. I don't have time. There you go. Let me get my eyeglasses back on my face. Okay, let's do this signature. I'm gonna do the same thing, middle first. Oh my God, look at my where my holes are. Wait, wait, let me fix this. I want that to be in the middle then. Let me see. Better. This pocket tool needs, um, I need to get a new one. I think I damaged my pocket tool okay now it's better i know i had this hole here but that give it character to my journal right let's go in the middle in the middle and let me hold my little leg here and we're gonna go on the top bottom if I can see here perfect and then we're gonna go on the middle again Sorry, I'm trying not to catch my thread with the needle. Because if you do that, then it's um, harder for you to pull. My God, where the hole is. Okay, perfect. Now make sure that your string is tight. And we 
we're gonna cut the excess and our signature is in and now the last thing we're gonna do is our last pocket this is so pretty i love it oh, how cute Okay, and let's put the last pocket. Okay, and let's make sure that this is That is not upside down. And okay, where's my needle? Where's my needle? Here it is. Look, I didn't even have to use my glue. Oh, but look what I did. Now. <laughs> okay. Let me see my time. 36 minutes. We have time. Let's do this. I don't know. I feel like my room is very, very dark today. Like I need more light. Can hardly see. It's been raining, so maybe that's why it looks darker. I feel like I need more light. I'm going to pull this there. It's just that the um, black paper too don't help me. <laughs> Can hardly see anything. Okay, and now the middle again. And we're almost done with the signatures. sure that this is tight and we're gonna do the same thing let me put my needle away I don't want to lose it close our pocket and our three signatures well kind of signature are in look how pretty yes and let's close this pocket i think i'm gonna leave them red because i love the contrast of the red and the white and black so let's do that and i only gonna close them on one side and this is gonna stay open
And now what we have left to do is to decorate this beauty. Look how pretty. I, I don't know if I want to use like Velcro to close this. I may use Velcro here and here. Like here and here maybe. I think I'm going to do that. Let me grab some. I had this lace. I'm sorry, I moved my camera and all that. Let me see where my belt cut is. Let's see if I have some here. Give me just a second. Let me see where I put my belt cut. Oh, here it is. I think I'm going to use this mini black ones well not the mini the minis are these ones i found these ones at hobby lobby but i think i'm gonna use this size turn my glue on on so let's do i'm gonna do, let me wait until my glue is um on hot i put more glue here Okay, for the closure of the journal, I want to use a ribbon. I don't know if I want the red one. I had this one too. But I think I'm going to go with the red one. Make sure you put glue on your corners. So I'm gonna go with the red one and then it's just gonna go here. And I wanna use this one day, my prints will come, but I think I need to cut it a little bit. Stress. Look how pretty. But I'm not done. We're gonna decorate this. I have some flowers here, roses, that I may use. the red ones well this one have a pink i don't know let's see okay so let me see if my glue is ready when i'm gonna put my ribbon right there in the middle Same thing here on the bottom. Just 
just to secure that ribbon there. same thing on the front okay and now we can decorate I don't think that I want to use the pink ones. See how we're gonna decorate this. Okay, I like that. So let's let me this one are not red red. This one's oh no. Okay, I guess. I will glue that one without the stern. I need to be gentle, I know. Sometimes I'm not gentle at all. When my glue is dripping glue everywhere. I should have <laughs> measured this now. Yeah, I like that there. So let's glue this. You see? Why is my glue doing this? Why, why, why? But better because now I can move it there. Let me. Cause I like it better like on the side there. Perfect. That's perfect. Then this, let me use some of my foam tape. See my time, okay. Stays very sticky. Sticky, but we're gonna reinforce it with a little bit of my silicone glue.
And then we need I need something here, but um, let me see what I can use. I have this trim. I think I'm gonna use this. Let me see something first. Hmm, hmm. I think I like this better. I'm gonna go with that on the top. I'm gonna leave that there like that. I just need to. I'm gonna put something here to cover that, but I need to glue this down a little. So it's not flooring around. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. Oh, look, this one is different. I like this one. This is the one that's going to go there. To cover that glue. Look how nice. I love it. I lo I didn't even notice that this, this one was different. And we're going to do some of these on the bottom. I love it already. So pretty. So my cover is done. I think it's good enough. I don't want to over, you know, over uh, do it. And I think the flowers, those flowers are enough. I don't think we need more. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now we're going to glue this down on the side. right there look how pretty it looks oh my god and we're just gonna put the glue here on i'm gonna use some of this and also just to keep it in place Look how pretty that look. It's perfect. I love it. Look how pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this, but now we're gonna decorate the inside. So this is my our pocket here. We're gonna put some of this trim on some of the pages. 
I also had this white, but I don't think that I'm gonna use white. Let me see. My God, I have a mess. Mm, I don't know yet. Uh, let's use this. Let me put some things away because I cannot work with a mess on my desk. I'm sorry, I just putting some things away because I need space. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's do this. And here I want to put this. I think I'm going to cut it. It's going to be like a pocket. And let me put some tape. I was going to do like a, um, how do you call that? <laughs> oh my God, I can't think. Um, a belly band. But I think I'm going to go with the side pocket. Just gonna cut. Yeah, that's perfect. We're gonna do the same thing on the back. Look how pretty, oh my God, I love it. We're gonna put the same trim that we did on the front on the back. And since for my signature, I'm using just copy paper. This will make it um, more sturdy, your like cover of your signature. So let me grab the other one. We're gonna do the same thing, a side pocket. Just gonna cut it here. Let's do the same thing. Let's put shape. We just um, need to decorate um, some of the pages and we are done. This was a really easy project. Especially when you cut your stuff and you have it ready. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me do it. 
Right, that's another one. This one. Let's do a little notch. Okay, now you can. Okay, so let's see. It's gonna decorate some of the pages. Just gonna try okay and let's get another hopefully i'm not putting my hair in the way uh, me... i'm not gonna decorate all the pages i'm just gonna do song until i run out of this trim I don't think, let me see if we can use this one. Yeah, I think we can use one more. But let's see, let's decorate this one. This one has like journaling space here. Let's use this one here. My daughter just got home. I don't know if you can hear her, but hopefully she will not barge into my room talking. I think we can decorate two more pages and that's it. Make sure I don't glue my pages down. Let's do like going this way. Let's do this one with this one. This is the last one we're gonna do with this little trim. And let's get another page. Let's do this one with this little one here. Just to decorate some of them. Perfect. Okay, so now, oh, my Velcro is going everywhere. Where is it? So let's hold this for scraps. We are almost done. Let me just grab all my ephemera here. And let's decorate some pages. Uh, it's an hour already, so let's finish this. Here on my pocket, I want, I'm just gonna put some of the stuff and I will do this off camera. Um, oh, I need to put the Velcro, but let's, who is the fairest of them all? Let's put this here. Maybe I should have put it here on the pocket. But on the pocket, I'm gonna put this smaller ephemera. Let me get the other one here. Let's see. She's beautiful just like an angel. Let's do that here. And I will decorate the other pages of camera. Here, I wanna do this pocket okay 
It's so pretty, so pretty. And let's do the Velcro and I will finish this later off camera. I know I have this belly band, where is it? This one, I want this one here. This is a piece of the file folder covered with the paper. It's gonna go there. I'm gonna put that there, happily ever after. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Oh. I'm gonna glue down my. Okay, and then on these pockets, I just gonna add some of this ephemera. So let's do the Velcro and we are done. And I just gonna decorate this off, off camera with all this. So my Velcro is gonna go here. And there, I'm just gonna use a little bit of my glue on right there. This one don't have like the ones at Dollar Tree that they have um the glue already. We're gonna let that dry there and let's close this to see how it looks. And here is our journal. Look how pretty our Snow White Traveler Notebook looks. That's the spine with our heart and our little apple. That's the back. And that's our covers. I'm sorry I have all this mess here, but I'm gonna continue off camera decorating my journal. But you got the idea and you got to look at the paper and we created this beautiful snow white traveler journal. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you had enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching everyone. Happy crafting.